Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here. I hope you're in the mood for a little lip gloss making. We got a kit right here. Hello teens, I'm so excited getting back to my lip gloss making. I haven't done one of these in forever and I was at Toys R Us a couple days ago. I found this kit and oh, so excited to get to it. It's called Only for Girls. Make your own emoji gloss. Emoji lip gloss kit. Oh yeah. So guys, I'm looking at the box right now and I haven't opened it up, but I am just guessing it's super simple. I think you just mix in the flavoring and the coloring and then put them in these cutesy little lip gloss containers. They are so adorbs. Kind of remind me of EOS's a little bit. And then we decorate. Put those little emoji faces. There are 40 plus transfers in here. Ugh, I just cannot wait to do this. It's too cute. Oh, everything about this is screaming cute. Like, I can't even take this. Ugh. I flip the package around. Here's just a couple little samples of what you could do with those little transfer stickers. Oh, I love this one. It's like a little unicorn face. That one has a little crown. And this one over here is just so adorbs. Let's open it. And I do have a little treat for you guys because if you're watching my videos, I'm sure you would love squishies as much as I do. I actually got the cutest squishy ever as a birthday gift a couple days ago. And I'm gonna show it to you so you got to the end of the show. So we'll have a mystery squishy a little bit later. That's right, Bubba. Mystery squishy. That's all I'm going to show you. Yeah, we got the box right here. We are getting to it. Let me open up this baby. And the only thing about this box, I'm a little bit worried. It is so, so light. I hope this thing isn't empty. I mean, I do see the little lip gloss containers. We got four of them. Super cute colors. But it's just like as light as a feather. So I hope we got all the ingredients. Let's do this. Babe, that box was not empty. It does in fact have all the cutesy little ingredients we need. Oh, look how cute these are. The little coloring and flavoring. Cutest little picks ever. Let's see what we got here and begin. That is the first and probably most important thing we need to do this little DIY is the lip gloss face. Now this lip gloss face alone is so adorable. It's actually huge. I mean, this would be enough gloss for probably about a year. And it's got the cutest little picks on there. Look at the little cherry, little grapes. Good one. That also brings us this little clear mixing cup, a measuring cup, and mixing spoon. Now we're we gonna make those beautiful colors and flavors without these little flavoring bottles here. Now these you guys are making me melt. They are the cutest. And it doesn't say what flavors they are, but I'm just looking at the picture. So we get this yellow one here. I'm guessing it's vanilla. We get some grape. This one, I'm thinking blueberry. It's got this adorable little blueberry, although it's kind of like a teal color. And we get the strawberry, my fave. How about these little lip gloss holders? Now these, you guys, the only issue I have with them is they don't have like a little flat surface, so they kind of roll around. They're like little rolly balls, but I love the colors on here. We get the teal, the yellow, purple, and like a hot pink. Same exact colors as the little flavor bottles. Really cute. Oh, finally, we're onto the last accessory we're gonna need, another important one. Oh, I am just looking at these, they are so adorbs. So these are the little transfer stickers we're gonna be using to bring these little lip gloss bollies to life, put little faces on them. I love that little unicorn. So there you go, we looked at everything, nothing left to do. Let's stop mixing and making and stay tuned for the mystery squishy channel. Everybody, don't get mad at me, but I think I'm going to do this kit a little backwards. I think I'm going to decorate and then make the gloss just because I am so, so familiar with these kits. And once you put the gloss in these little things, they're going to get a little sticky and greasy. Almost going to be impossible to put those stickers. So while they're clean and dry, I think I'm going to decorate them. So there's no issues later. Let's do it. The first one is adorable yellow. Oh, it's so bright. I love this color. I'm gonna go with this little lips with the little shush sign and some hmm, maybe those little hard eyes. Oopsie, forgot to let you guys know. Just make sure if you guys are doing this kit at home, you just make sure that you are on the right side. So the little lip gloss is gonna go in this. This is the cover. So I'm gonna put the eyes here and the mouth on the bottom. This 
is not working how I want it. Alrighty, so when you look at these, they look like stickers, but they're actually not. They are transfers. So basically, they're almost like a temporary tattoo. You put them on there and you kind of like rub them on. It didn't work so good. So I'm going to pick another set of emoji faces and try it again. Let's see. Yay. Oh, you guys, this is not how I wanted it to come out. These are, I have to say, the worst transfers I've ever seen. They don't work. They don't rub off onto the plastic. This is probably as good as I'm going to do on this one. Still looks kind of cute. And if you don't like it, you can just flip it and have a plain... I think it's gonna work. On to lip gloss number two. Now I'm gonna attempt to make that cute little unicorn. I don't know if it's gonna turn out. I am gonna go with this little horn, this little free hugs, and this one. It's a unicorn -y one. I tried my best, you guys, but these are like super impossible. So hard to transfer them onto this plastic. At least we got the eyes, a bit of the mouth, I like that little free hugs, but the most important part, we got that horn on there, the little rainbow horn. Sure, it's okay. Here's the turquoise one. I managed to get some of it on there. It looks okay. Kind of like that little lightning bolt. And the final is the purple. craziness. You know, when I got this kit, I thought it was going to be simple. I thought the hardest part would be to mix the gloss, which I haven't even started yet. I never thought putting on these little stickers would be like so, so difficult. So here's the pink. We got the turquoise. The purple probably came out the worst. I mean, I tried. I got as much of it on there as I could. And the yellow. I put a little bow on there. I don't know. I thought they would look much better, but we are going to make some yummy gloss. Let's do it. Oh your emoji faces look crazy, but I guess they're cute. Whatever. After all that emoji closeness, all those stickers, and all that hard time we had, it is finally time to whip up our gloss. Now this is called lip gloss, but we're using a lip balm. It's kind of like a silvery, kind of like a whitish color. We are going to put in a few drops of the vanilla yellow color. And instead of using the mixing cup, because I find that a little bit messy, I'm just going to mix it right on in to the container. I think it's easier, a little bit cleaner like that. According to the directions, you're supposed to put about 10 grams of the balm into here. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm just gonna put enough so I don't fill it up too much. And it's really, really pretty. It's got a shimmery color to it, like a pearly color. Really nice. I think I could put another little scoop. There's a little bit more room. And it's got a really, really good texture. It's not too hard. It's not too soft. Really good. It's a good quality. Much better than those stickers. <laughs> it looks super messy right now. Don't worry about that. I'm going to clean off the edges, make it look nice. So it's crazy. I looked at the directions, and for just one little container, you're supposed to put about 20 to 25 drops of the coloring and scent. So I guess we'll try. Make it super yellow. Put it in there. Well, like 20 to 25 drops seems like much, but follow the instructions. So do it. I'm gonna pop the top for the first time. Oh, you guys, it smells so, so good. It's so vanilla. It almost looks and smells like vanilla pudding. That's the coloring to it. Let's put those drops in. It's gonna take a while. And it's not like the traditional food coloring. It's got kind of like a milky look to it, kind of creamy, which may be good for the gloss color dump the whole bottle, I think. It's like honey mustard. <laughs> Mixy! If you want a little drop is in, make it a little darker. Smell is amazing. Woo! Mix it up. So after about two to three minutes of mixing this up, making the balm super soft, I guess I see why they call it a lip gloss now because the more and more you mix it in, it gets really, really soft and silky. This is the color. It's not meant to be like a super bright orange like the container. It's like a buttercream, very, very light. And I love it. I love the shimmer to it. I love the texture. Super good. I wish the picture looked as good as the lip balm. 
but all in all, I like it. Should make another one. The next little glossy that we're going to be mixing is the purple. And of course, I'm going to use the purple coloring and scent, like grapey scent. I don't know how strong this purple is going to be because the yellow was super light. Let's find out. And in case you're wondering, this kit only came with one mixing spoon, so I just gave it a little wipe. And I'm going to scoop some of the base balm into this little cup. I think this is the easiest way. If you guys want to do it your own way and use it in like a separate measuring cup, but for me, I think this makes the most sense. Got my color in slash scent here, the grapey one. Ooh, this smells so good. This smells like a grape lollipop, like a candy. I'm just curious if the color is gonna be deep or what. Let's see, we need 20 to 25 drops in here. Ooh, I like that. Exact color as the container. Put in a little more. I love the way the color's coming out. It's purple, it's pearly. Definitely darker than that yellow one. Woo! Kind of slippery. This stuff gets a little bit messy. There. Mix it up. Very nice and smooth. So this is the purple one. A very, very light purple. Actually, the more I mixed it in, it got a little lighter than it was at the beginning. But it smells so good. It smells like grape candy. It's got like a silver shimmer to it. And I would literally use this like any time. It's really pretty. Super soft. Really like that. And of course, you know I had to do it. I had to make the little pink unicorn strawberry. Mm, the pink is super yummy. It kind of smells more like bubblegum than it does strawberry. It smells really good though. These all have a really good scent. Mm, smells like double bubble. Ooh, this one is pretty. I think the pink is definitely my fave. It just seems like the pink and that shimmer color mixed together would be best. And it smells like bubblegum. Kind of like a baby pink. This is probably the only one that would give you a tint on your lips. But I just cannot get over how smooth that is. It's almost like a cocoa butter. <sighs> Real and ash. I think this is my fave with that little unicorn face. So cute. We're actually in super good shape. I'm excited. We got some lip balm base left. We got one more to make. And it's going to be blueberry. Ooh, can't wait to smell it. This one looks like a rocker girl. Cool. <gasps> it smells like blueberry snow cone. Bubble, it's delicious. <gasps> so good. Beautiful color. Squeezed in the final coloring slash flavoring and oh, it's so good you guys. It smells just like a blueberry snow cone. Super sweet. The color is kind of weird. It's like a teal or a turquoise and to tell you the truth it looks a little bit more like a nail polish color than a lip gloss. But we're going to mix it up. See what we get. That is that, the final gloss. Very, very light blue, almost like a kind of aquamarine. And of course, it's got the same texture because they all have the same base, but oh, it smells so good. Totally different scents among the four of them. Love it. Here's another look see at the four completed lip glosses. Oh, I love these. I love these because the colors of the containers are so cute, they mesh so well together. The only thing I wish is that the actual gloss colors were a little bit darker. They're super light, but they are very pretty and pearly. And my fave definitely is this pink one. Bubblegum scent, baby pink. Really cute. 
Oh yeah, Bubble. Well, my favorite is the yellow because it's got hints of gold. Vanilla. And I'd love it for you guys to leave me a comment. Let me know out of all of these. What would your favorite scent be? The blueberry, vanilla. This one is grape or strawberry. Hope you enjoyed that, that little do-it-yourself. Not completely a do-it-yourself from scratch, but a really adorable kit. I just wish those stickers were a little bit better. Otherwise, I loved it. And now, everybody, it is time for that mystery squishy. Let's look at it. Squishy teenies, bam! Cannot get enough of this squishy. I got it for my birthday on Saturday. I actually got a lot of squishies from my sister. She brought me so many. She actually lives in California, and over there they have tons of squishy stores. I'm here in New York, and I don't find many of them, but she really finds a lot of them. So I have the squishy Sunday cup. This thing is adorable. It's kind of like a medium size, and it's by Lampo. And Bella, like, don't forget it. 100% premium quality. Oh, in a day or two, I'm going to be doing a video showing you all the cute little squishies I got. But this one I just had to show you now just because I think it's adorable. It's really, really cute. So let's take it out of the package. It is the Fruit Sunday Cup. And that's literally exactly what it looks like. Look at that. Oh, it smells delish. I need a fruit cup. And the best part about this, besides the smell, which is kind of like buttery and fruity, it is slow rising. It's ultra slow rising. Oh, it's just like the best quality. It even says it here on the package. It's how good it is. And I just love everything about it. Those little mango pieces. You got little kiwi, strawberries, and some soft serve, like a little ice cream. Just squish on this baby all day. Just so relaxing. Add a sweetie pass until the next video. That is a wrap. So many cute things on this table. We got the glasses. We got that amazing squishy. It's making me hungry. And we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.